this a relationship that I've had with you. Did I have another bagel this morning? Yes, I did. Hey Steph, what are you what are you doing? Um, tubing. Tubing? So if you're vlogging, what were you gonna say to your vlog? I'm tubing here. <laughs> go do some things and we're gonna make a wild mess in the process window 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 that was that was a mess that we just made but it's okay i'm like acting like we're in the biggest hurry but we're really not in a hurry okay first side of the bagel done i don't think my clothes were compromised really so we'll hope for the best for the second half. We had avocado toast on one side of the bagel and now we have nutso butter on the other side. I'm on the bagel train right now. I'm not mad about it. The deal is I have a interview for a front desk candidate at noon. It's 10, 10 right now. I'm gonna get him a walk. We're going to have that interview and then we're going to the ride studio. We're going to the ride studio because we're meeting with the lighting guy to help us um, configure some presets hopefully so that's exciting and I think that I just want to be there for support for my manager over there they recently repaved our driveway it is so nice like this is just a smooth ride right now all that to say though dealing with neighbors you guys it's a lot to deal with like adult children simply like repaving a road and everyone's like just reactive and whiny and demanding it's just, it's a lot, you guys, Jesus. But the road is paved, so that's good. Can I just have my teeth? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you. The lake trip, it was so, so fun. It was with uh, just a few of our friends from the studio and it was just a blast. I, being on a boat with people and like just watching, watching the guys just do their like wakeboarding and skirtboarding, it was just, it brings me so much joy. Like I am not one to, do any sort of boarding. It's not my thing. I have zero desire to do it. I just don't want to get injured and it doesn't seem fun for me for whatever reason, but I live for watching other people enjoy being out there on the water. It is my favorite thing. And just listening to music and having conversations and the sun uh, it was just so much fun. And spending a couple days at Nasimiano, I've never done that before. And it was just so special. And I'm so, I'm, I'm so glad we did that. Yeah, but like, I feel like getting back to normal routine is always is always a challenge especially after I feel like after you've had a lot of sun exposure 
woo, it like really knocks me down. Like I was in the sun like for hours and hours for two days and it was a lot. So Nick and I are like catching up on sleep. We're trying to just like get our lives back together. But um, that's our last little like jaunt for a while, which is good I think for us. Um, we don't really have any commitments or anything coming up until like Thanksgiving right now. So all that to say, I'm excited to walk this guy right here. And um, that was a good bagel. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, bagels are a really intense fear food for me. When I give myself permission to eat a bagel or like any sort of toast or anything like that, like I really have to switch my mindset a little bit while I'm eating it and like after I've already ate it. Just a relationship that I've had with food since high school. I That was so delicious. I had like protein on top. I had like good fats on top, some tomato, like it was pretty good for me. And I'm like, okay, now I have fuel for the entire day and I just can't feel guilty about it. But that's where my head kind of spirals off to and just trying to bring it back. Like that was delicious and it certainly, it is going to bring me joy. So I need to just like remind myself about that. So anyway, they literally didn't show any of that. But there was really nothing to show. I had an interview and then a meeting with my director and then I was working on stuff and then Nick showed up, so. I'm in our brand new office that used to be the filming room. Still a work in progress, but we just had basically meetings and meetings and meetings just now, um, but they were all very productive. I'm trying to adjust this a little bit. Now, I have some more admin stuff to do. I was semi-planning to go to the, the 4 p.m. core and cardio class. I don't know if I'm really feeling like a workout anymore, but I also like, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure out the rest of my afternoon, but it's 3.20 right now. I don't know if you can hear, but this like whole humidifying unit is pretty loud. But uh, yeah, overall it's been a really productive day and I'm really satisfied with it. So Nick has the dog, because yeah, I should probably have just brought him, but um, that's that. And nothing else really need to report. <laughs> Yesterday was just a day of catch up. There's really, there was really not a whole lot of content to uh, to share yesterday, but we got a little bit in, which was actually quite surprising. I woke up at eight this morning, so I needed that sleep in, but I'm headed to Laurel right now. I am going to take the 1030 and then I have an audition directly following that um, for a potential sculpt instructor. She is a, seems to be like, a great candidate. Okay, so it's Friday right now. It's Friday. It feels like Tuesday, but it's Friday. After the audition, I don't really have a lot going on. Nick and I do need to package. I made some eggs this morning. I made a latte, folded a crap ton of clothes because we have we just had so much laundry that was just in a pile for like five days. I tidied the house a bit, and so we're feeling good going into this weekend. I do I'm doing a little bit of work this weekend, but we also have some things planned. Something planned with my parents tomorrow night, and that's basically it. I'm feeling super groggy today. Like I just slept really deeply. I had a weird dream last night that I was in some like TV competition. It was kind of like Survivor where you had like these challenges that tested like your endurance and tested your strength. I was like in, the, I was in these challenges and I remember like going like, I, I didn't feel as strong as everyone else. And I also was like, why am I here? Like, this is so not my thing. Like why, why did I put myself like in these positions? And then the tribe basically, or your group has to vote people out. And then you like get interviewed after you get voted out and stuff. And they straight up voted me out of the group and I was so severely offended that they voted me out even though I was like I'm gonna get voted out like I'm not the strongest one here <laughs> I was so deeply offended and I just felt like a total failure in the dream how that's some deep-rooted shit okay like that's that's something I need to really like work out in my brain <laughs> anyways it was the we I've been having the weirdest dreams lately and I usually don't dream so I don't know what's going on with me but the past like I would say a good salt for a good solid week now I've been having like super super weird dreams yeah Literally no content today, content today again.
because I've just been working, just working a lot. And there is nothing to show except me behind a desk, which is really boring. Or me in class, which I can't show. So it's what it is. We're going home. Friday night turn up is going to be at home. Probably snacking on sunflower seeds. Oh dear. Probably some salami and crackers. But I'm freaking hungry, dude. I cannot wait to chow on something. My legs are going to be so sore tomorrow from that bar class this morning. <laughs> so freaking sore. One reason why I kept on waking up last night is because uh, my abs are so sore that like I woke up in just like pain from my Peloton workout yesterday. I'm just shocked at sometimes like I don't even realize because to me when I'm working out alone, I just feel like I'm not working out very hard because I don't have like the instructor like in person and other people in person motivating me. But I freaking sometimes I don't even realize that I'm working as hard and the next day I'm like, what the heck is that? Like, why am I so sore? We are headed home. We got some editing done. He is exhausted. That was such a good walk for us. We're both ready to go home, I think. He needs to rest now for sure. Well, I'm proud of him. He's uh, definitely getting slower, but that's okay. He still, he still rallies. Okay, so from here on out, I'm going home. I'm gonna shower and get ready because Nick and I are headed to a live music event tonight at Vento. Either Vento or Ventu, I always mess that up, but it's a country music artist. And so I'm really excited about it. And we're meeting up with my parents we have these like staff classes that we put on and like every month we schedule them and one of our instructors just volunteers to teach just to get my staff all together my full intention was to take this staff class and i was really excited about it I was like people i'm not doing anything i'm just sitting at home i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna hang out with the girlies and then of course i get to laurel and realize that the class is at freaking foothill and i didn't give myself enough time to get over there so I didn't end up taking the class, which I'm kind of bummed about, but it's okay. I ended up just being able to walk him. So at least I got something productive done, but also I able, was able to just like hold up in my office for a little bit um, and instead of being at the kitchen table. That's a win. <laughs> did I have another bagel this morning? Yes, I did. <laughs> 